Hello, this is Scott from Calibrated Power, home of Duramax Tuner Cummins Tuner. Today we'll be going over loading BBX settings onto your spade unit. Um, you're going to want to do this if you have received a 0502 code or a 050B as in Bravo code while trying to flash with your spade unit. So what you need to do first is contact us. If you are a customer, we'll go ahead and send you out this email. As you can see, the first thing on this email is going to be a link. And then at the bottom of the email, we have a few attachments. So these are going to come into play here in just a minute. First thing you're going to want, click on this link. It'll bring you over to EFI Live, the download section. Download the latest version of V7.5 and V8. That'll take roughly five minutes to download. Once you've downloaded both of those, you will have the EFI Live icons on your desktop. You can see them all there. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is save this good BBX settings attachment to your computer. If you're working with a Gmail, this is what it'll look like. For Yahoo and AOL, it may be a little different, but the process is still still the same. So we're going to download this file to the computer. Click on it, open. You do file, save as. And we're going to want to save this to a specific folder. So you want to go to your documents. You'll have an EFI Live folder. Double click on that. Double click on V8. And double click on your config folder. I've already have uh, have this file saved in here, but this is this is a location that we're gonna save this good BBX settings. Save those. Can close that out now. Alrighty, so we've downloaded EFI Live. We have good BBX settings saved in our config folder. Next thing we're going to do is open up EFI Live Scan and Tune. Now, first thing when with EFI Live Scan and Tune open, you want to click on this Check Firmware button. Just single click. It'll open up a new window for you. It'll ask you, um, let's see, your I. Actually, you probably won't get this, but it's asking me if I want to connect to my V2 or AutoCal. Um, if you're working with a spade, just click on the AutoCal. If you have a V2 and you're going through this process, obviously just click on Flash Scan. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll click on AutoCal. Alrighty, looks like everything is up to date. Blue boot block version okay. Firmware version is okay. If this wasn't okay, this would be in red and there'd be a button right here that said update firmware, you would just click it and your computer will do the rest. Alrighty, so that is good to go. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is either hit the F6 key on your keyboard or click here on F6 devices. You can either hit the F5 key on your keyboard or just click on this F5 button. Currently it's the Spade is set to display simple menu. I'm going to want to make sure that it is set to display advanced menu. If you open this up and it is already set to display advanced menu, just click the close button. If you had to switch it over to display advanced menu, hit the program button, select OK. Then once that's done, just hit the close button. It'll ask you to save to save device settings. Actually, you just hit no here. We are good to go. Now here's the part we've all been waiting for. Either hit the F5 key on your keyboard or select the F5 BBX button on your screen. It'll bring up a new window. For most of you, the space required will read 148% and show a red bar, which is, is normal. Um, what we're going to do now is load the VBX settings on the spade. So to s get this thing started, you're going to want to click this small arrow pointing down on the program button. So just single click there, head down format config file system, single click. Uh, window pop up, 
ask you, let you know, device will be erased, continue, yes. So once that's done, head on over here to this open button, single click, find your good BBX settings, it should be there waiting for you. So just double click on one of those. You can see on my screen, this has changed from space required. 92% that's how you know this should be in the 90s if you get a 34% it means the file did not load properly so just repeat the last process open either double click or single click and then hit open once this reads uh, 92 or a 90% click the large program button this operation may take a few minutes, of course. Okay, so we're just finishing up here. You can see copying files bar, almost full. Once this process is complete, all that happens is this screen, that processing copying files disappears, just like that. Brings you back to this screen. Just click the close button. You can close this out as well. You can now just unplug unplug your spade unit from your computer. Uh, head out to the truck and try reflashing. If you get any other error codes, uh, please contact us at Calibrated Power 815-923-4311. And we'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.